So I've had this car here now for about three years and I've slowly noticed the condition of the black plastic trim just starting to deteriorate. So I have been washing the car pretty much weekly ever since I bought it and I do usually apply a trim dressing to the car but what bothers me about that process is that the trim dressings don't last that long and if I forget to reapply one one week then it really doesn't look that great and I do feel like it lets down the look of the car. So what I have done is bought some G-Technic C4 trim restorer in aim to get this back to looking brand new again and also to keep the plastics protected so I don't have to reapply a product every single week. So this product does claim to last from around one to two years which is going to be perfect. So I'm going to be showing you the prep and application process and ultimately giving my thoughts to help you decide if it's a product worth applying to your car as well. So the first thing that I did was just to wash the car as normal and then as an additional step I used Green Star All Purpose Cleaner at 20% and then gave that a scrub using a medium stiff brush. So the aim of this was just to remove any old dressings that had been previously applied so the product had the best surface to adhere to. I then dried the vehicles, so I do normally use my car dryer for this and this is particularly useful here because it is going to blast out all the areas where water might be trapped. If you don't have a car dryer then I would recommend drying as normal but being really thorough around these areas and trying to get your microfiber into the gaps as much as you possibly can. It may also be worth just waiting around half an hour after this process before continuing with the application just to make sure that any water that is still hiding in those gaps has evaporated by this point as otherwise if any water does drip down during the application process then it's going to dilute the product and I can't imagine it being particularly great for the longevity and might result in sort of a messier application. Once the plastics had been dried I then used G-Technics Panel Wipe Solution. This is an additional step and it's not explicitly mentioned on the instructions however I thought it'd be useful to remove any last sort of residue or grease that might possibly still be on there it's a step that you would use if you were applying a coat into the paintwork or the glass so I figured that it'd be a good idea to use here on the plastics. After this step I did wait 15 minutes just to make sure that the IPA had properly evaporated. I did wipe it until it had flashed away completely but the additional wait time does just really make sure that there isn't anything left on that surface. So when you do open up the box you'll notice that you do get four cotton pads to apply the products with. You may need to use some more than the four that have been provided depending on how much area you have to cover so I do recommend grabbing some of these cotton applicator pads if you don't already have them in your house. So gloves do come provided with this product which is very useful because you don't want to get this on your hands. They were a bit large for me though so I had to use different ones but I am glad that they did include them. So the application itself is incredibly straightforward around five drops onto one of those applicators I found was more than enough to cover a decent proportion of the trim. And then once you've done that, take a clean microfiber towel and then just very lightly go over the surface. And this is just to remove any high spots. It won't remove the coating, but it does help to remove any excess that has been applied. Make sure you use a microfiber towel here that you're not too attached to though, as because this is a coating, it is gonna harden after a while. Being a coating, there are a few things you need to keep in mind about the temperature and the conditions you apply it in. So they do recommend that you use it above 5 degrees Celsius and also that you don't get the trim wet within 12 hours after application so make sure you do keep an eye on the weather. So in terms of how much product you'll actually need to coat your car, you can see how much trim there is on the car here. There's not tons of it but there is a decent amount and it did cover all the areas apart from the wheel arches here. In this case I used around 10 milliliters of the product so if you have a car similar to mine 15 mil bottle is going to do you just perfectly but if you do have a really large SUV for example with a lot of black plastic trim or a mini or something then you might want to just go ahead and get the 30 mil bottle just to be on the safe side. The only thing to keep in mind though is that G-Technic do say that you should use the bottle within three months of opening it so just be mindful of that if you are going for the big bottle and applying it to multiple cars. So the trim on my car wasn't particularly faded, so one coat was enough here. It does say that you can actually lay this product, just wait around one to two hours after applying it before you go ahead and stick another layer on, and this will produce a darker effect. So I did tape up some areas where I knew it was gonna be pretty unavoidable getting that product on the paintwork. It's not a disaster if you do get some on the paint. I did actually try it on a very small inconspicuous section, 
and it did just buff off very easily with a microfiber towel without any problems so don't panic if it does happen but do get it off with a microfiber as quickly as possible so here is the finish of the product and i was really happy with how the plastics turned out they definitely returned them to factory finish and i know that the plastics weren't too bad to begin with but it did make a considerable difference to making the car look a lot newer So here are some shots of the wash behaviour of the product. These were taken after the first wash, which was around a week later. So the plan is to provide some updates on the product on my Instagram, so I'll pop a link for that in the description. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop it a like. Thanks very much for watching.